Hamburg, Germany's biggest port. This is where a proud industrial nation trades with the world. Every one of those containers a cog in the machine of the global economy. Massive ships like this sail in and out every single day. They come from all over the world, but from one place more than any other, China. This one belongs to Costco, a state-owned giant. One third of all cargo being handled in the port of Hamburg is coming from China or going to China. Axel Matern leads the port's marketing body. So it's a huge percentage and uh, very important for the port of Hamburg. It's important for China too. Hamburg is a key hub in Beijing's Belt and Road Initiative, an infrastructure mega project spanning the globe. That makes this port a prime symbol of engagement with China during the Merkel era. But Germany's next chancellor will be under pressure to rethink the whole relationship with Beijing. The recent repression in Hong Kong is seen as a sign of a more assertive, even aggressive Chinese worldview. China is um, not only developing, but also bit by bit exporting an authoritarian regime that is antagonistic against our belief in democracy and human rights. Reinhard Bütikofer of the German Green Party leads the European Parliament's Committee on China. China pursues a new big power policy. China does not believe in multilaterally agreed rules that apply to everybody. And even the trade and investment symbolized by Belt and Road is being thrown into question. The Belt and Road Initiative, we all know, is not first and foremost an economic development strategy. Catherine Kluver Ashbrook heads the influential German Council on Foreign Relations think tank. It's first and foremost a strategy to buy control and influence within the European Union. That view is growing among EU leaders who are trying to find a coordinated approach towards China. And US President Joe Biden has been actively courting European support in pushing back against China's growing power and influence. And yet Germany needs that trade with China. And in Hamburg, ties with Beijing could get closer yet. China's Costco wants to buy a stake in this Hamburg terminal. And the port authorities say deals like this are essential for the future. When the Chinese, for example, are partner in one of the terminals in the port of Hamburg, then we can trust that there's going to be more cargo going via Hamburg. But critics argue that deals on such crucial infrastructure as this need much more scrutiny. German uh, national politics has to realize that uh, there are deals being made on the local level that have implications for long-term economic strategy of the country. There needs to be a greater awareness and understanding of the geopolitical risks that come with that. I think only if information flows, I think of the kind of data flows that the Chinese need desperately. Those kind of connections have yet to become completely obvious to the national level. So will Germany see a big rethink of relations with China in the post-Merkel era? All the leading parties vying for government say they have no illusions about the risks posed by China, with the Greens being the most outspoken critics. But the Hamburg terminal deal does look set to go ahead. So as Germany tries to navigate the economics and geopolitics of its ties with China, don't expect a radical change of course.